Hello, the Lord put this on my heart to share a dream that I had with you about the rapture. I had this dream in 2015, and I felt that now is the time that people must know that God is coming soon. And here is a dream I had. So bear with me about the quality. I do apologize, uh, but here we go. I just wanted to make a recording uh, to document a dream that I had. Not too sure if I had it on Wednesday, October 14th or Thursday, October 15th. Uh, but when I woke up, this is what happened. So I'll try to be as accurate and take my time. And this may mean nothing uh, at all, but I just wanted to record as I felt compelled to record this. So... I woke up and I felt compelled uh, to remember this dream that I had. It started off, I was in a neighborhood. I had a recollection like it was a neighborhood I grew up in, but it was different. Uh, it was greener. Uh, the trees were bigger. It just seemed like a different area, but I don't know why it felt like a neighborhood that I grew up in. Uh, it could be a neighborhood that I may in the future living, I don't really know. But anyway, I was uh, kind of standing in the middle of the street, and uh, the one thing I do remember is some kid riding his bicycle. He's probably like 100 feet from me. I'm the only thing I could, I guess, is he's a neighbor kid. I have no idea. Never seen him. Don't even really remember what he looks like. But anyway, I kind of felt the uh, ground shake and then this massive tree, one of those, you know, 200-year-old oaks that are just, you know, 10 feet plus in diameter. Uh, and it's a massive canopy. Just literally just get uprooted probably within, um, I don't know, 100 feet of me and uh, uprooted and just kind of tossed to the side probably about 50 to 70 feet away and left this massive hole where the root bulb and all the roots came out of the ground and I remember just feeling uh, like something is supposed to come out of that hole I don't know what it was or why it happened but I, when the tree got uprooted and the, the huge kind of like hole or crater if you will was left I felt like it's supposed to uh, have this like something was supposed to come out of that hole. Anyway, uh, simultaneously, I happened to look up, and, uh, like, the sky was filled with birds, but it's like right then, the uh, the birds just kind of stopped flying and were like in a suspended animation. It's literally like just stopped in the air. And at that time, I hear this sound, uh, the sound that's kind of bellowing, what, and from what I could guess, was bellowing through the entire area, through the whole valley. Uh, you know, just just everywhere. You know, you, you just knew that the sound was going everywhere. And I don't know if it was the sound of a trumpet or a shofar uh, or, or what it was, but there was also another sound accompanying it, and I, I can't describe what it is but it was kind of like mixed or overlaid over each other. And I'm not 100% sure. I can't describe it. It's a sound I've never heard, and I can't describe it. And at that time, I just remember lifting my hands up to heaven, and right then I felt myself getting lifted off of the ground, just gently lifted off the ground. And as I was going up into the sky... I remember just praising Jesus and thanking God. And at that time, I began to move at what I felt was a high rate of speed. I have no idea how fast I was going. I was only about, I would guess, between 150 and 200 feet off the ground. I could look down and I could, you know, make out, uh, I could see people on the ground. Like I was going over like parks and over, you know, streets and kind of like neighborhoods and such. And I could see everything going on. But from what I can remember, it seemed like everything was stopped. And so I don't know if time stopped and I was outside of time. 
uh, during this event. I, I'm not 100% certain, but it felt like, uh, again, when I looked up before, before I rose into the air, seeing just the birds just stopped. Well, at the same time, uh, as I was lifting up into the sky with my hands raised, it wasn't like I was flying like Superman, but I was just kind of standing kind of like straight up as I was uh, floating, if you will. And what I can remember, I was kind of going towards some mountains. Now, at that same time, I remember the, the boy, he kind of got lifted off his bike and, and I, you know, just kind of glancing over. But at that time, I, I just, I didn't think much of it. And I didn't think of him at all because uh, I didn't know who this kid was. But I just remember that. And in the distance, I, I vaguely remember a couple other people I see kind of uh, being raised up and then again floating kind of towards the mountains were that were, you know, the only thing I could guess, maybe 10 or 20 miles away. I couldn't really tell you exactly because I, I didn't know. And so uh, here I am, uh, hands lifted into, into the sky, and I remember I was, I was kind of looking up towards heaven, just thanking God and, and thanking Jesus. And, you know, I was moving towards the mountains, and um, I was going up the land. I remember it was really green, so it it's not where I live. Uh, it's just, it's not exactly where I live. I, I don't live in a green area, but I remember it being really green. And uh, I remember arriving, um, again, I don't know, 10 or 20 miles away. It's the best I could guess. It could have been further. It could have been closer. I'm not sure. Uh, to this place, it was kind of what I felt was like, kind of like a staging area. And uh, upon arrival, I remembered that there wasn't many people there. And I and I felt sad for the fact there wasn't hardly anybody there. And, and I'm guessing between one to two dozen people at the most, uh, there wasn't many of us there. I didn't remember seeing any of my family there. Anybody I knew, any any of my uh, children, uh, any of my friends, I don't remember any of that. I, I, I just vaguely remember some people who I've never seen before in this kind of staging area, if you will. And um, I remember uh, people were kind of getting in line, and there was uh, a couple, I guess, people. Uh, they didn't look like angels from what I could tell, you know, the, the classic angel with wings, you know. But uh, kind of behind this table and had this book or this roster that was open. And uh, and so a line was kind of forming. And I remember, I don't know why, I just kind of felt compelled to let people go in front of me. And I don't know if that means anything. but And so I was, from what I can remember, one of the last people uh, there, uh, one of the first people there, but one of the last people to kind of get in line because I was just kind of there letting people go in front of me. And uh, I remember just, you know, being in line and going up and, and from what I can remember, they didn't really ask me anything. It just they either checked my name off a list or wrote my name down. I, I don't 100% remember, but I remember being, at that time, being very sad. And, uh, and from what I can recall, like, crying the fact that there wasn't many there. But also, at the same time, very thankful to the Lord and thanking God. First, I, 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 from what I can remember, saying, oh, Lord, why isn't there more here? And at the same time, thanking God that I was there and being very grateful. And so um, I don't know if simultaneously all over the world this was going on in little pockets. Because, again, I didn't remember seeing my family, so I don't know if I was in this area visiting or, you know, I, I go places to, to go riding and hiking. So I don't know if I was there for that. I was just in this area. And again, it felt strange because I thought again, like I mentioned before, that I was in a neighbor that I grew up with in, but it was a hundred percent different than my neighbor. So I, I don't really know what to make of that just yet, but it just felt familiar. Um, that's all I could say familiar but I've never been there I don't it, it, it doesn't make any sense I know so uh, as I'm <clears throat> waiting there I remember uh, it being at least it felt impressed upon me as kind of like a staging area so again just to reiterate I'm not 100% certain if there's 
events like I was going through all over the place, all over the world, uh, going on simultaneously, I, I felt uh, that this, that I was part of the rapture. And I'm guessing that after all those were kind of gathered into certain areas that we'd be lifted up to heaven. But uh, as we were sitting there waiting, uh, like, like I said, in these groups of, uh, at least in line with a very small group of people. Um, and, and just to add detail, uh, the mountains were, were, were very uh, beautiful. I don't know if it was a spiritual, um, you know, rendition of what heaven's supposed to be like, or if it was just representative of where I was at, I felt complete peace, but that slight bit of sorrow that there wasn't more there. I don't know, if, again, if that makes sense. And I kind of am just emphasizing that. Uh, but as we were waiting there, uh, we were gathered together. And I remember we were getting ready or we were in the process of moving to a different area of the group that I was in, moving to a different area. And again, I don't know if that was to uh, join uh, you know, join up in heaven or go to another staging area or what, but I rest moving or getting ready to move as a group to another area. Um, but I woke up. So, uh, I'm not sure what that means. I'm trying to make sense of it. I am praying and asking God, uh, what it means lately, I have been uh, crying out to the Lord about giving me eyes to see and ears to hear, and uh, just just thanking God for how He loves me, and even when I blow it and uh, do the wrong thing, that uh, His grace covers me, and and I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I don't take it lightly, even though you would never guess it with some of my actions sometimes, but. I'm very grateful that Christ saved me and that I, I pray that uh, that if an event like this does happen, that there will be more uh, people. But again, as I was, you know, going over, I could see people below me. Uh, and from what I can remember, it does seem like time was stopped. So I don't know if my... Um, this is something I kind of forgot to mention. I don't know if my physical body got raised up. I do remember, or, or if it was my spiritual being got raised up uh, as I was floating towards the mountains with my hands raised. But I do remember just vaguely glancing over at the kid, and I see, seen him coming off his bike, so I'm guessing it was my whole entire uh, body and spirit going towards that area, uh, you know, going towards the mountains, toward the, towards the staging area. And, you know, I'm trying to be very detailed, as detailed as I can uh, with this. Again, I've never had a dream like this before. I've never felt like this after a dream. Uh, I don't know if God is trying to speak to me through it or if it was just a dream. I, I honestly don't know, but... It was one I've never had before. I don't really have many dreams. I don't really uh, remember my dreams if it does. are just little tiny fleeting moments, little captions. And if I can remember one or two seconds of it, it's, it's, it's a, a good thing. But this seemed very detailed. And I could probably go into minute detail about things that I've seen. Uh, but I don't know if it really adds to the overall um, description of the of what I encountered, I don't know if God was speaking to me prophetically. Uh, it does say that, you know, that old men will uh, see visions and dream dreams. And I don't know if I'm, you know, just reached that point. I just turned 47 just a few days ago, so I don't know <laughs> if I reach that old man tipping point or not. But anyway, I just wanted to record this. Uh, I, I do hope and pray that uh, it's just something that Lord is speaking to me. I don't know if it's something that, um, you know, God is trying to either work through me or talk to me. 
But I do know this, that uh, it does say, uh, don't go back for your cloak. Don't, you know, when you hear the call, if, you know, if, if, if the rapture is real, you know, I'm not 100% certain if, if it's something that will happen or if it's, you know, pre-tribulation, post-tribulation. You know, I'd like to believe that we would be uh, taken off the earth before the tribulation. Uh, you know, God may see it fit that we stay here through part of it, through most of it. I, I don't know. But, um, you know, it's something i got to really study and pray about and, and, and search and seek through His Word. But uh, I am grateful that I was shown this. Um, I'm hoping that maybe this will help others. I don't know. But I just wanted to record it. I've never recorded anything before like this. So this may mean something and it may mean nothing. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope that maybe uh, you get something out of it. And if I missed anything, if uh, anybody I send this to wants to talk to me about it, I could give the, even the more minute details of the dream, but, again, I don't think it really add to um, what the dream was supposed to be about. So, anyway, thank you, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Okay, one of the things that I forgot to mention is in my dream, it felt like it was either late spring or early summer. It was very pleasant outside. Uh, the weather was nice. I do remember that. And also, one of the things I forgot to mention is as I was in the staging area, uh, the moments right before I woke up, I remember uh, feeling my pocket. And in my pocket, I had my keys. And they were the keys I carry it with me everywhere and so the detail was very very great as far as the things I remember and uh, I remember that I thought to myself oh my gosh all of my guns and ammunition are in the storage facility that I utilize and the keys are in my pocket for that storage facility and I thought to myself Oh my goodness, the people who are left behind are going to need those. In other words, they're going to need my guns and ammunition. And I don't know why I thought that in the dream, but I physically remembered thinking that and feeling the actual keys in my pocket. So anyway, uh, guys, I just hope and pray that you hear this, that this touches your heart. Uh, I would seriously, seriously uh, inquire about the Lord. Uh, not only about this dream, but if the Lord's speaking to you. And also, if you do not know Jesus, please seek after him. Ask him to be your Lord and Savior. Give your life to him right now. Uh, we do not know how much time we have on this earth. Um, it is very, very possible that we are almost there, almost ready to go home. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.